I did the Sailor Moon uh, readathon where I was Team Mercury, which again, that's uh, the Scalar Scout that I kind of related to. I missed three of the criteria for that one, but I did read the, uh, the readathon book, which was uh, Beds Are For Flowers. And um, so that was a pretty nice one. Then I also did uh, the Bukimon. I missed two criteria for that one, but that was fun. I was Team Valor, which is the same team I'm on when I'm playing my Pokemon Go, whenever my phone is working, type of thing. Now it comes to my Bookopoly. With my Bookopoly, um, I had two carryovers, which I actually got a chance to finish one of them. The Community Shelf, which I was the Stillhouse Lake, which was a nice one. I gave that a five star. I had two science fiction, which I oh, got a little windy going on. Um, which I did. Sorry about the background noise and stuff again. I've got a noisy neighborhood right now. The let me get my bookopoly thing right now. Sorry. Uh, science fiction. I did Renegades. And I did um, Etiquettes and Espionage. I also continued with the Renegade series and, and read uh, Arch Enemies. I can't wait until November when the third one comes out. That was a really good series type of thing. Um, nonfiction. I did the newest Cal Ripken Jr. book called uh, Just um, Show Up. And Cal Ripken Jr. is one of my favorite baseball players. Um, he used to play for the Baltimore Orioles, and he had a nice little streak that uh, beat uh, Lou Garrett's record of so many consecutive uh, game games played, type of thing. So it was nice to to listen to that, and the good thing is he was the narrator of that one, which I really enjoyed. And then um, fantasy, I did My Lady Jane, which is the Jane series by um, Cynthia Hand and a few other different authors and it kind of combines like a, a real life like his, historic figures and with some this one had like steampunk and and a few other uh, shift changer type of stories I really enjoyed it um, kind of find out there's a, should be another one in the Jane series and then she, she, they're also doing something about a Mary series, which I got to look into that. And since last month was double month, I had to do go to jail, which in my version of the game, I have to read a horror book. And I am not a horror fan. I despise that, gen that genre. And I, I don't know. So I'm hoping I don't get doubles anytime, like that many doubles again. So I picked a really quick novella called The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which is a very old story. And a lot of times I've done like movie adaptations of it. So I did not finish the TBR jar, which is the man in the high castle again. And I did not, get to the Christian romance. The last book I read, um, City of Dead, had a feeling that it might be a Christian romance, but it never flat out said it was. There was like some mention of, um, of it, but I'm not sure. Um, she does have um, the author T.L. Higley. She does have like a com complete series that um, deals with seven wonders of the world and I think the second one might be a little bit more in depth with Christian romance but I do have a story collection um, already on my Kindle I just haven't had a chance to to actually download it onto my phone um, it's done right now on my uh, Kindle itself so so that is basically my recap um, I'm shooting for, I would like to get to back to doing 30 books again for June. 
Um, but again, I'm not sure. I think I got a lot of uh, different events going on. One weekend I'll be going down to um, Jupiter, Florida for a baseball event. And of course it's my brother's birthday this month and this other stuff that's going on. Um, that's I think one reason why I read so much this month because there's a lot of um, things going on and reading is my way of dealing with uh, issues. Um, I've had boyfriends kind of tell me that I get closed off in the world in my books when I don't want to deal with stuff, but that's me. I'd rather be my own, be in my own little world type of thing, but I'm still getting more active with doing stuff. And I went to the library book sale twice this month and I got some nice uh, books to, to try to put into my TBRs. And I also went to Ollie's today and I picked up like three books. And if you have an Ollie's near near you, that's a nice, good place to get some books. I got some um, bestsellers for like $1.99 today. So, well, that is it. I'm going to edit this video, and I will post it later today. You have a wonderful, wonderful rest of May, and I'll see you in June. And again, expand your reading horizons. Bye.